Joseph's Amazing Astronaut Adventures. Previously, aboard the Starship Zion, we met Joseph and his crewmates, who didn't like the way Joseph talked about his dreams and visions. They put Joseph into an escape pod and sent him into the pit of space. But God was with Joseph. God sent Hot A4 and his spaceship to the pit of space. Igor and Juju rescued Joseph from the pit. Joseph made friends with Hot A4 and Juju. Hot A4 even made Joseph an officer on his ship. But Hot A4's wife, Hillary, thought Joseph was cute and she wanted Joseph to <coughs> kiss her. Yes. Joseph said no, but Hillary chased him. Hot A4's wife lied and said Joseph tried to kiss her. Hot A4 believed his wife and sadly sent Joseph to the prison planet. Joseph met Faro, the king of the prison planet, who sentenced Joseph to a half-life of pretty hard work and labor. But God was with Joseph. Faro was pleased with Joseph and Joseph's work with the Alpha Omega Crystals. But he was most curious about Joseph's ability to explain dreams. Joseph told Faro that God was really the explainer and that God gave Joseph the explanation. Pharaoh told his dreams to Joseph. Pharaoh told his dreams to Joseph, and then Joseph told him what the dreams meant, which pleased Pharaoh so much that he put Joseph in charge of the Alpha Omega Crystal Project. But later, Joseph's old crewmates from the Zion sent a distress message uh, to the prison planet. Distress call being sent out from Starship Zion. And we are in some trouble. We are running out very quickly of our fuel supply, Alpha Omega Crystals. We think we might have enough fuel left to get to the prison planet. Heck, not that you have some, but please, please, can you please save, save some for us. We need them to continue our journeys. So now Joseph has a difficult decision to make. What will Joseph do? Part 5, The Conclusion. Dun, dun, dun. Seven months since Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of the Alpha Omega Crystal Project. All of the old crystals are gone. But with God's help, Joseph has been able to make new and better crystals. And Pharaoh has put Joseph in charge of selling these new crystals to all of the galaxy spaceships. We now join Joseph and Pharaoh on the prison planet. Cisco with the space station. Oh, uh, Deep Space Nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine. Nine. That's the one. So he's he's covered. All right, one second. Let me just let let me just let these guys. So know. busy here now. Oh, oh. Yes, you got both of them. Yes. All right. Great. Good. 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 Well, I am so glad that you're in charge of this. What we got today. We are very, very busy. Uh, hundreds of ships are coming to you. 
trying to get the well, new Alpha Omega Crystal. Your new Alpha Omega Crystals are wonderful. They work great. Yes. And uh, I'll thank yeah. God for that. Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, well, actually, today's not too busy. No. We only, well, we had the three shipments, well, the two just now, two this morning, two, three, four. Uh, it looks like we have just two more today. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, we only have, it looks like we only got. But we're the only yeah. planet in the galaxy that has the crystal. And the they're, only one. And everyone needs them. And so. it's the famine of crystals is nuts. It's nobody has them. All the ships have gone completely empty. You they have done an incredible job, Joseph. I'm so happy and pleased. Oh, thanks. Blessed. That thank God. I thank God. I thank God very much for that day that he brought you. It looked very bad for you that day, I have to admit. And I did the best I could to be fair. Because as, you know, the king of this planet, king of the prison planet, and a member of the Truth Investigation Agency, I must, I must try to do the honest thing. And it's hard sometimes because sometimes doing the right thing is very, very difficult. And sometimes people don't like the truth. That is very, very true. I had to true. learn that. Sometimes I would tell my dream to people and I was just telling them the truth. Was it the baker or which one was it? He had that dream where and it turned out that he he was going to die. Yes, but there was yes, someone had a dream that I that got interpreted that someone was going to die, that he was going to and it happened. Though it wasn't even a good dream, but it was the truth. Well, I'm I'm very thankful to God for when he brought you to us. And okay, um, let's see. I want to make certain that we have. Okay, give us two more, two more shipments. It looks like two more uh, customers. You've made us very rich. I'll tell oh you. wow! I'll tell you that you've made us incredibly rich. Well, I, he's I'm, so smart. <laughs> he's so smart. <laughs> and he's he was able to come up with this fixing this crystal, and we're the only. I think we've got like five left. Will we have that more tomorrow? Well, we will have a few more tomorrow, but yeah, we only have five left today. Okay. I'm so glad I put you in charge. This would make me crazy. I'm trying to figure out who gets what and when and where and how and... It's... <laughs> it's really up to him. It's really up to God. It, he figures it out for me. It's... It's... Uh, when I do his work, it feels like I don't have to work hard to do it. Yeah. Yes. It feels natural. Well, that we I look at this job and we say, yeah. this is impossible. We can't do this. And with God, all things are possible. It just feels right. Yeah. So, so what do we, so what do we got next? Who's up? Oh boy. Oh. What? According to this paper, um, our next scheduled shipment is to the starship Zion. No. So it seems uh -oh. it seems as though uh -oh. your friends and I showed you that transmission quite a while ago. It's taken them a long time to get here. Yes, thank you for showing me that. Well, yeah. not your friends. Well, I I don't know if they sent you in that escape pod into the pit of space on purpose or not. We don't have a witness, but what do you think? Well. I think whether they did it on purpose or not, it was all done for a reason. I mean, look at me now. If they had not put me where they had put me, and if I had not gone through what I had gone through as hard as it was, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have purple pants. <laughs> <laughs> or a pretty blue hat. Or a pretty blue hat, or these or, nifty space glasses. Or the colors that you wear because you're in charge. Yes. That's, that's very true. That's difficult because sometimes we have to go through something very difficult to get to some place good. And it took a long time. It took me seven months to get to where I am now. It's obvious that God was in charge of your life and that you trusted him, which is a wonderful thing. It's something I'm learning, something you've been teaching me, and I'm very thankful for that, too. So, 
With the crew members of Zion, I'm going to let you handle it however you would like to. I will stand by you and I will support you because I know this is going to be very difficult because I believe they sent you into that pit of space on purpose. So whether you decide to give them the crystals or not and forgive them or not is up to you and your God. I leave that to you and I will make the announcements. I believe they're in the, I believe they're in the accepting block now. I think God's One got moment. this in control. Do we have the crew people from the Zion ship? Yes, yes, you do, sir. Follow me. We are now discussing negotiations for the crystals, and I leave you to the man in charge of the crystals. His verdict, his decision is final. Carry on, my good friend. <clears throat> so, came here for a reason, I imagine. Sit down. Uh, yes, yes, sir. We are uh, the crew of the Starship Zion under Captain Jacobson. I am Officer Ben. I'm Officer Dan. And I'm Officer Zebulon. Zion, you say? Yes, yes sir. Hmm. Well, let me see, let me see. I'm going to play the biggest joke on these guys. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zion, you say? Captain Jacobson, you say? Are you sure you made an appointment? Yeah, uh, I, I believe we sent out a, a distress signal several cycles ago. A distress it, signal? Which cycle was that? Mm. Oh, uh, we don't remember how long it has been. Uh, it's, it, as, as you know, uh, uh, star dates can be difficult to keep track of. They're um, not! You just have one of these things! Don't uh, you have one of these things on your ship? Oh, you guys! Ah, oh, from the Zion, let me see. And you sent a signal, you say? We, we sent a distress signal. Uh, all of our ener energy has been diverted to thrusters in order to get here. Just, it's our last resort. So you're, you're out of crystals, you're saying, and you want the new ones, is that it? it yes. If you would allow it, sir, yes. Yeah, we, we, we are in dire need of fuel. <laughs> well... I don't see a Zion on my list. It looks like you aren't on this list at all. You're not even scheduled here. Who are you really, Zion? You're not even on my papers. See, you're nowhere to be found. <laughs> how, how could this be? We, we definitely sent a signal. <laughs> how can this be? Ooh, you know what I think? I think you three are what came here and want the crystals all for yourselves. I think that you three are spies. No, sir. No, no, sir. Yeah, no, that's no. what I think you three are. Look at the looks on their faces. Yeah, look at them sweat. You've got to be spies. Well, you know what I do with spies on a prison planet? Even a super rich prison planet? He's playing a joke on you. Yes, great. I put them in the brig. That's what I do. And I need two volunteers from the audience. Let's see, you in the blue shirt right there. Yes, you. And then you, since you got up halfway up the aisle. Yes, you two are going to be my guards. You two, stand here. And make sure that these three don't move. Go ahead and look at them. Go ahead and look at them. Really look at them hard. Yeah, look at them sweat. Yeah. Well done, guard. You keep looking at them while I make sure that they're telling me the absolute truth. Are you sure you three aren't spies? Absolutely not. You're not. You're not. Whatever. I think you three are spies. Guards? 
Come up here and tell him to get down the stairs. Get down the stairs. That's right, you three. Get down the stairs. <laughs> You're coming with me to the brig. Guards, march them to the back of the room. <laughs> Look at him go. All right. <clears throat> Don't worry, this may seem funny. I just want them to feel like they're in trouble. God's got a plan for everyone. I think they're wondering what theirs is right about now. Oh, this is going to be funny. I know, I know. <laughs> well done, guards. If I would support him, and support him I do. But I wonder what he's going to do with the three of those men later. I guess we'll have to find out. So, are we ready for ready to get these guys? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm gonna need two new guards. Me, 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 okay. Me, 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 me. Your hand shot up like a rocket, and you in the green shirt over there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My name is Gabriel. So I'm gonna try to walk into the Very well, Gabriel. Good. All right. Very good. Now I need you two to go back there. And then to the left, and go get them. And go get bring the them up here. Go get the prisoners. Okay. And you can go ahead and say, hop, 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 just so they know. Just so they know that you're coming. Yeah. That's all right. Nice. And the laundry, the dishes, and the laundry, the bathroom. We, we could vacuum a bit, 
I guess. And vacuuming, um, well that's good, but... We could, we could even, um, we could clean your bathroom, I guess. We could clean your bathroom, right? Guys, guys, clean. guys, guys, guys! It's me, it's Joseph, guys! Let's go, guys. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 